Distracted drivers, instant justice, blind corners, close calls, slippery slopes, flattening flatbeds, and so much more. Plus, today we give away the final dash cam from our month-long giveaway, so stay tuned. Cody was driving with some friends in his Corolla and was waiting at a red light. When the crossing light turned yellow, an SUV from each direction raced the light and they struck each other head on. While an SUV from the right entered the intersection during the yellow light to make a left turn, another SUV from the left ran the light the moment it turned red, slamming hard into the SUV from the right. Cody is first aid CPR AED certified, so he ran to check on the drivers. Thankfully, first responders arrived quickly and transported them both to the hospital. Cody told us they didn't seem seriously injured. He also told us our channel is the reason he bought a dash cam. Thanks, Cody. This submitter was driving one very rainy day when visibility was quite low. He'd made sure to turn on his daytime running lights so other drivers would notice him, but that didn't seem to matter when he was forced to stop. A large truck pulling a trailer hit a car that was stopping behind our submitter before shoving it into the back of our submitter's Renault. The ensuing carnage ended up involving a total of eight vehicles. Seven ambulances responded, as did the police, who were delayed by three and a half hours due to flooding. The wreckage caused over six miles of traffic to back up. Our submitter told us that four of the vehicles involved were totaled. Ready for the weird part? The driver of the truck who'd caused the whole thing tried unsuccessfully to drive away. When that didn't work, he left and his brother returned and claimed to be the driver instead. He claimed that the entire situation had been caused by the driver of the Renault that rear-ended our submitter. But thankfully, his dash cam shows what really happened. Our submitter's vehicle is getting fixed, and since his insurance only covers part of the repairs, the truck driver will be paying over $10,000 US dollars out of his own pocket to pay for the rest. Ouch! Khalid was driving down a packed highway in his Toyota Corolla when he noticed a couple of drivers illegally using the shoulder to pass traffic. Too bad for them, he's not the only one who noticed. A police officer spotted the scofflaws and pulled one over while the other one got away. Sorry, copper, I'm sure you'll get him next time. Nish was on his way to night classes when a driver from the right side suddenly entered the road in front of him and he wasn't able to stop fast enough to avoid a collision. Nish plowed into the Subaru, setting off his airbag and sending him rolling off the road. His Chevy Impala was totaled by his insurance company. Thankfully, nobody was seriously injured. Responding officers found the Subaru driver at fault after Nish called 911. He wanted to shout out Officer Plymouth for giving him a ride back to his apartment. Isaac was driving down the interstate and noticed he was following behind an unmarked law enforcement SUV. As a Porsche came up behind him, he merged into the travel lane to allow the Porsche to pass. The Porsche driver must have not noticed that the SUV was a cop, and they passed it in the travel lane before cutting it off. What happened next made Isaac chuckle as he continued on. The cop lit up the party lights, and Isaac told us he's sure the Porsche driver got a stern talking to. He also told us he got his dash cam as a Christmas gift just two days before this happened. Jared was about to pull into an intersection after his light turned green and the driver of the pickup across from him was beginning to as well. It's a good thing they both were paying attention. A Buick driver ran their red light, swerving around the pickup truck and missing it by inches. Jared told us he eventually caught up to the Buick and the driver didn't seem the least bit concerned. Josh was driving his Subaru Forester through some mountains in Idaho when the driver of a Chevy Malibu ahead of him suddenly lost control after hitting an unexpected patch of ice. After colliding with the hillside, the Malibu driver turned back into the road. When Josh hit the same patch of ice, he wasn't able to stop or turn in order to avoid rear-ending the Malibu. 
Thankfully, nobody was injured. Both drivers pulled over in a safer location before exchanging information, and now they're both waiting to see who will be found at fault by their insurance providers. This submitter was on his way to flight training when he watched the driver of a semi pulling a flatbed trailer flatten a couple of signs as they cut the corner. There it is. There it is. There is the wham bam moment. He just took down the stop sign. Maybe the trucker didn't notice, or maybe they just prefer things to be flat. Either way, they took off after the incident. Our submitter asks truckers to give themselves plenty of time and not be in such a rush like this guy was. Miranda was on her way home after taking her son to school, and her daughter was sitting in the back seat. As she prepared to make a left turn, she suddenly felt an impact from behind before seeing a car drive past her. A Kia Optima rear-ended Miranda's Mazda 5 before rolling into an Audi parked in a nearby driveway. Thankfully, nobody was seriously injured. Miranda told us this was the first collision she's ever been involved in. After talking to the Kia driver, Miranda told her, well, I just got a wham-bam moment. She told us her son Gabriel watches all our videos and our channel is the reason she got a dash cam. Chris was headed down a North Carolina highway in his Subaru Impreza when some pieces of wood came flying at him from the other side of the median barrier. Chris doesn't know where the lumber had been launched from and we can't figure it out either. He stopped and found some damage to his bumper cover caused by striking the airborne debris. Matthew was on his way home with his wife after running an errand, and they were in the middle of discussing the Tesla behaving badly clip they sent us from this same intersection which we actually used in last week's episode. This time, they watched a semi-truck collide with a car as they both turned left through the intersection from their respective lanes. Ooh. Oh, nice. They slip. Got that on dash cam. Let's go! Matthew pulled over to check on the car driver, but she declined any assistance. He told us this won't be the last video he'll be sending us. Thanks, Matthew. Keep them coming. Just try not to get too close to the action, okay? Speaking of Teslas behaving badly, Kyle watched the driver of a blue Model 3 run a red light after deciding they couldn't bear to wait 18 whole seconds for the light to turn green. Roll the jingle. That, that Tesla man can drive. Sadly, there were no cops around to administer instant justice this time, but the Tesla driver didn't exactly get away with it either. Now we all get to judge them in the court of public opinion. Render your verdict in the comments. Corey was driving in Vancouver and had ended up behind an oversized load, a single wind turbine blade strapped to a trailer. Watch what happened when the truck had to take a turn. The tip of the blade struck multiple trees, damaging it. Corey told us he works next to the blade's destination and often talks to the people who unload them. And he found out the blade had to be sent back to the manufacturer. Nicola, who told us the S in his name is silent, watched an Acura driver suddenly cut into the gore point after missing their exit. Then they waited until Nicola was close before cutting in front of him. Nicola was forced to slam on the brakes to avoid a collision, taking the opportunity to honk at the other driver as well. He also mentioned he bought a dash cam based on our recommendation. Awesome! The link is in the description. Mitchell was on his way to work one morning when the 70 mile per hour traffic suddenly came to a dead stop. He'd given himself plenty of stopping distance and was able to stop, but the same wasn't true of the driver behind him. Mitchell estimates that the Ford Escape rear-ended his Jeep Grand Cherokee at about 35 to 40 miles per hour. A Kia following the Ford was unable to escape colliding with it as well, but Mitchell is hopeful the owner can afford to repair it. The driver of the Ford Escape was very pregnant, according to Mitchell, and was taken to a hospital. As far as he knows, nobody was seriously injured in the collision. Sadly, his Jeep will probably be totaled due to a bent frame. 
Have you ever wondered why some streets have little separators between the car lanes and the bike lane? This emitter observed the reason firsthand. A Nissan sedan impacted the protective islands and our submitter told us two of the tires ruptured as a result of the impact. Thankfully, the dividers did their job and nobody was hurt by the wayward vehicle. Sean was leaving a parking lot with his fiance when another driver pulled into a parking spot ahead of him. He had no idea she was planning to back up as he began driving past her. Even though he held down the horn, the driver of the Nissan Altima backed into the front of his Toyota Avalon. Thankfully, nobody was hurt and Sean told us the collision damaged the other car more than it damaged his. This submitter was driving down a road in Slovenia when he watched an impatient driver pass him and an RV ahead of him, barely avoiding a head-on collision with oncoming traffic. Our submitter's dash cam recorded his speed at about 35 miles per hour. So the idea of that other car, which was going much faster, running into an oncoming vehicle is pretty frightening. Thankfully, it was only a close call. Ian was on his way to a job interview when he witnessed a rear end collision occur in the middle of a highway, and you'll never guess what caused it. After avoiding getting involved in the collision himself, he was shocked to discover a pig running around in the highway. The speed limit here is 75 miles per hour, so Ian is thankful he avoided a collision. That wasn't the only good thing that happened to Ian that day. He also told us he got the job. Congrats! Tanner was headed to get some fast food when he spotted a fire engine covered in flowers. He immediately recognized it as a vintage fire engine returning from a rose parade in Pasadena. Before you go, it's time to give away the final Viofo VS1 dash cam from our month-long giveaway. We've received thousands of photos from our fans, and it's been awesome to look through them. Our final dash cam winner is Francisco, the driver of this Toyota Tacoma. Congrats! Now, what should we do with all the photos we've received? Tell us your ideas in the comments, and we'll see you next week. Wham! Bam! We got a Patreon, man. Please support the show.